This might be the first Yeezy release on a Monday. Let's take a closer look at the 350 V2 Citroen. What's going on guys? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're taking a closer look at the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citroen. But before we do that, just do us a quick favor. Please hit that subscribe button, like the video at the end if you like it, and we'll get going. September has been a pretty busy month for Yeezy, probably the busiest month they've ever really had. You know, they started September off with a bunch of key releases. We had the Magnet 700s, the Inertia V2s, there's three colorways of the Yeezy Desert Boot. There's three Yeezy Supply exclusives of the Power Phase. Now, as the latter half of September is approaching, we have more 350 V2 drops. So again, uh, this is the Citroen colorway officially dropping on September 23rd, 2019. The retail price is $220 and it will be a full family size drop. So just in case you need to know, the kids pairs are priced at $160 and the infants are at $140 will be available on September 22nd on adidas.com, but do check the store list below. It's in the description. Hit that link, enter raffles. You know, you, you guys know the drill. Uh, September is a really busy month. You know, on this month alone, we have two 350 V2 drops, the Citroen and the Cloud Whites, of course, not counting the reflective versions, which we'll touch on a little bit later. We wanted to take this time just to show you a closer look at this colorway. Now, so far, all you guys have really seen are the official images that have been dropped, but we feel that it doesn't really do it quite justice because now that we have these in hand, they just don't look like a khaki pair, you know? There's been a lot of chatter on social media saying that the Citroens look too much like the Sesames or too similar to what's already been out, but now that we have these in hand, there's some pretty interesting colors that are used. Let's take a closer look at the upper. Of course, the base of the color is this nice, very pleasant light tan colorway so that's something very similar to what we've already seen with Yeezy but if you look on the embedded knit there's a very light gray hue that when you pair it with that light tan it almost gives a pop of like a greenish sort of tone almost like a seafoam green so when you pair that those two colorways together in hand in person it actually looks very very different from what what's already been out there Something that doesn't really pop out in those official images that Adidas put out, the translucent stripe on the upper kind of has almost a neon sort of hue to it. And you can kind of see that in some of the knit on this upper. So the upper looks like it's actually three different colorways. So we have this base tan that you can see on the laces, this light grayish hue, and there's this third slightly neon yellow tone. So it's almost a mix of like the butters, the sesames, and even the semi-frozen yellow. So it's almost like those three mash into one, but done very subtly. The midsole as well, it's more yellowish than it is tan, and it is uh, translucent because you can see the boost midsole. And the outsole is pretty interesting as well. In the official photos, they look like they're a classic gum sole, but now that we have these in hand, it's almost like a tinted light red, light salmon sort of hue. And it is uh, slightly translucent, so it is not a solid gum sole. So far, you know, we were pretty surprised seeing these in person. If, if you needed more proof that there is like a neon sort of effect to the shoe, the Adidas Yeezy print on the insole is actually like a light neon yellow. So again, this is not your standard beige tan shoe. You know, Kanye has done that already with the Sesames. This is more of like a light tan, light neon, and a light gray all mixed on the upper. And the outsole features this really nice light red translucent material, which is also uh, pretty new to the to Yeezy 350 V2. No heel tab for these. That's pretty much it. You know, that's a very straightforward look, but we did want to point out that the colors are a little bit different from what you've seen. In our opinion, these are super underrated. You know, if you want some popping color for your Yeezys, these are a great option. The cloud whites are super clean as well, but this is a little bit more uh, different from what you might have already thought um, based on those official images. Again, there hasn't been any firm word regarding the reflective drops. Typically, they've happened by complete surprise before the release of the non-reflective versions, but again, we haven't really heard anything from it, so we're not really gonna just do any guessing, but do check the links below. We have links to store lists. If you wanna take a look at the official images again, they're there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like this video if you learned something from it, and we'll catch you in the next one.